Today's topic is osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis is an infection and inflammation of the bone. Bones can become infected in a number of ways. Infections can reach a bone by traveling through the bloodstream or spreading from nearby tissues. Or infections can begin in the bone itself when an open fracture or surgery exposes it to germs. The condition affects both children and adult, although in different ways. In children, bone infections most commonly occur in long bones in the upper arms and legs. In adults, bone infections most commonly occur in the hips, spine, and feet. Bone infections can be acute, happen suddenly, or chronic, developing over a long period of time. If not properly treated, osteomyelitis can leave the bone completely damaged and may interrupt normal growth in children. Causes The most common cause of osteomyelitis is Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. These bacteria can enter the bone through the bloodstream, infected tissue, or open wounds. Bone is normally resistant to infections, but certain conditions can increase your risk of osteomyelitis. These may include chemotherapy, poorly controlled diabetes, sickle cell disease, intravenous drug use, recent injury, pulmonary tuberculosis, surgery to replace broken bones, AIDS, peripheral arterial disease, having a urinary catheter, symptoms, severe pain in a specific bone, swelling around the affected bone, redness, warmth, and tenderness in the affected area, fever, chills, and sweating, fatigue, irritability or lethargy, especially in young children, drainage from an open wound near the infection site or through the skin, diagnosis and treatment. The doctor may use several methods to diagnose the condition if you have any symptoms of a bone infection. The doctor will perform a physical examination. The doctor will do this by feeling the affected areas for tenderness, swelling, or warmth. To determine the location and extent of the infection, the doctor may order a combination of tests and procedure. This may include blood tests. This may reveal an elevated area of white blood cells and other factors that may indicate that your body is fighting an infection. If your infection results from an infection in the blood, tests may reveal the germs that are responsible. A bone biopsy may reveal the type of germ that has infected the bone. This information helps with treatment as it allows the doctor to know the type of antibiotics that work well. This may be necessary in some cases. Imaging tests such as x-ray, CT scan, and MRI can provide images of your bone and the tissues that surround them. Treatment. Osteomyelitis is treated with medications, surgery, or both. Medications help bring the infection under control and often make it possible to avoid surgery. Antibiotics can be administered intravenously or directly into the veins for several weeks. Sometimes surgery may be required to remove the infected tissue and bone. The surgery prevents the infection from spreading further or getting so bad that the remaining option is amputation. If a prosthesis is causing your infection, the doctor may remove it and replace it with a new one. If you have diabetes, place close attention to your feet and contact your healthcare provider at the first sign of an infection. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.